argument. I was having an argument with my robot fa- Welcome back! Sorry, music is very loud. Ay yeah, yeah. Bob did not want to go and vacuum my living room. <sighs> he was like, -doo 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 -doo. Error! I was like, Bob, what's the problem? He was like, well, my bin is full. I'm like, Bob, I just emptied your bin. Anyways, um, apparently I had to gently, gently touch his sensor. Uh, there's a sensor where you remove the bin, and if you just kind of clean that, suddenly Bob didn't want to do his work once again. Yeah, I just had to gently reach in there, tickle the sensor, and then, uh, yeah, Bob wanted to once again make his rounds through. Anyways, guys, happy to be back on stream. <clears throat> Didn't have the most fun morning myself. So, yeah, it's okay. I have a fucking cage device. Over your head. <sighs> yeah, you just got a... Um... You had phones that it was not very fun. I was wondering about that, Secretary. Is what if... It would depend on the speed of the rotation. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I feel like... A little mini... And then, uh... Uh, later on, I think we're gonna do some RimWorld. I, I don't know if I want to start that one up right now, but I did spend a bit of time this morning setting that up. That is the... Tides of Darkness. No, the Second War Tides of Darkness is what it's called. Chronicles of the Second War Tides of Darkness. There you go. I heard it's really good. So we will be checking that out at some point in the near future as well. That is a custom Warcraft 3 campaign. That essentially does what Blizzard never did. Which is before I... Interesting. It actually doesn't... I don't know, man. Rock Climber Marine? Yeah, that's... Rock Climber Marine? Yeah, that's a bug on this map. I know this bug. It happens sometimes. Whoop! Yep. It actually does not have high ground vision, even when it's on that little pillar. Yeah, it, it still does not have high ground vision, which is a bit funny. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So, even though... It seems like StarCraft 2 is shrinking a little bit, right? I'm sure you guys are getting... Right now. What's up, guys? And then Team Fatality today are getting a similar... Uh, this is kind of interesting. So, even, even though... <laughs> It seems like StarCraft... <laughs> oh, even though... It seems like StarCraft 2 is shrinking... And then... It seems like StarCraft 2 is shrinking... Interesting. It seems like StarCraft 2 is shrinking a little bit, right? I'm sure you guys are getting a similar vibe too with like the GSL announcement and whatnot. And then... A couple days ago, Talon... Talon Esports, which is not an esports organization I was very familiar with, they apparently signed Dark. And then Team Fatality today announced that they essentially got the entire on-site team. Which is kind of insane. So that's Crank, Solar, Ryung, as well as Maru. It's a little bit funky, guys. Team Vitality moves east with StarCraft 2 roster as it continues global expansion. There we go. What's going on, Shadow Phoenix? Thank you for 63 months. Yeah. Got a Vitsa coming up and, and um... I don't know if I can watch this without, like, getting in trouble. I don't know. Music is always a bit messy. But yeah, it is kind of cool. This video, by the way, from, uh, I sent Tasteless a message after watching this video because because I watched it off stream, but it's actually not cringe. Normally, whenever we have esports, I'm sure you guys have all seen these esports videos, right? That are very cringe. This one, I actually thought was funny. This was actually good. Let's watch a little bit of it, okay? What? Talon Esports is getting a StarCraft 2 player? And I'm gonna interview him? I gotta go, I gotta do this right now. What's up guys, Tasteless here in Seoul. We're at Shinchon Station. This is an area where there's a bunch of other people from the StarCraft scene. And I'm here today because apparently Talon has recruited a StarCraft 2 player. Who? I don't know yet. But today we're gonna try to find out. Oh wait, is that Gemini? Hey, Gemini, over here. Oh, wait, Jason, what's up? Listen, apparently 
Talon has recruited a StarCraft II player. Do you know who it is? The Valorant Talon? Now the StarCraft II Talon as well. I got to interview this guy, but I don't know who it is. I, I don't know either. I, I, I can't help you there, Nick. I don't know. Listen, I got to go, man. I got to go figure out who's on who's on Talon. I mean, do you, you want to get like a coffee or something? Or Gemini, there's no time. I've got to figure out who this player is. I mean, it's my treat. Like, why not? Yo, you're, you're not even gonna like hang out? <laughs> I know who to call. Yo, Pig, it's Tasteless. Man, I've been trying to get a hold of you, actually. Listen, man, this is really important. Talon has picked up a new StarCraft 2 player. I gotta interview him. Do you know who it is? Talon's picking up a StarCraft player? No, man, I hadn't heard of that. It's actually really convenient you called, though, because I've got a really important question. Right, listen, I, I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Over here is my buddy Ziggy's place. He was a StarCraft II pro. He works in a lot of different tournaments now. If anybody's gonna know who's on Talon, should be him. Oh, hey, Nick. What are you doing here? How do you even know where I live? Talon has recruited a StarCraft II player. I don't know who it is, but I gotta interview him. Do you have any idea who this could be? Talon, StarCraft II? No idea, man. But do you think they need another player? Do you think I can get on the team? Dude, I'm pretty good. You can check my Wikipedia, man. See, so you know I can't just, I can't go do that, right? I really need this. Man, I need to stay in Korea, dude. Can you like tell them? You know, oh, oh, I want to oh. do this. My guys have failed me. I still don't know who's on Talon Esports yet. I think the only option is to go to their offices in Gangnam. We can't. It's too far, dude. We can't go to Gangnam. Gangnam's not that far. It's like 20 minutes by cab. The traffic's pretty bad right now. I live here. Okay, guys. We're here. We're at the Talon Esports headquarters in Gangnam. Now it's time to find out who is that StarCraft II player on the team. I need help, guys. Does anybody know who's on uh, Talon? I guess that's the Valorant team. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. I cannot be here. I can't be here. Can I get some merch before I go? <laughs> Can I get some merch before I go? <sighs> I hate this. Everybody in esports sucks and can't help me. I have no idea who's joining Talon. I can't do the interview. I guess I'm screwed. Oh, Dark. it's me, Chet. Oh, never mind. Talon, it are you the guy I'm interviewing? Please, have a seat right over here. First of all, congratulations on your uh, joining of the team. Dark, what is your experience? Cool, right? That was pretty good. I think that was actually pretty damn funny. Because I fully expected when I first clicked that video that it was going to be super cringy. We have all seen those esports videos where it's just the cringiest thing that you've ever Hello, watched. But that was, actually, that was actually good. Yeah, I thought it was very good. Let's go to Mac McCube. Well, my bar is pretty low when it comes to esports and promotional videos like that, so. Hey, thank you very much, Mac my Cube, for the five months and shiny active clap. Woo! Speaking of merch, does the winner on Saturday get some merch? Ab abs my cup is Yeah, ab absolutely, buddy. Sign up um, or exclamation point viewer tournament. Both of those should work. Okay. Um, Saturday. Upcoming Saturday? Apparently. Remember that uh, that crash that happened? It depends how often you crash. Ah. What do you guys think is retirement age for? Oh, this may be for 2020. That would be actually insane. For, um... Yeah, kind of crazy. Not even a thing. So. Da 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 ba ba da 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 ba 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 da ba ba. I nailed it, bro. That was not even close. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing okay. Good to see you all. I woke up to seeing a beautiful meme posted on the Discord server. So I think Nuke took this particular screenshot 
and then edited the old school meme into this, which is actually kind of perfect. Like it. I woke up to seeing a beautiful meme posted on the Discord server. So I think Nuke took this particular screenshot and then edited the old school meme into this, which is actually kind of perfect. Like, it really is. <laughs> it really is very good. Yeah, it's good, right? Then Bunny just, yeah, gave me the suggestion that it's all about 12 pool. Which I think is very good. Anyways, good to see you all. Hope everybody's doing uh, well. Oh, it's, that's pretty nice. The lady removed the stitches and then one of the cuts... So that's gonna be a bit of a scar, I'm afraid. No, they can't apparently... Toss from cheesing you and sure. can Anyways, thank you very much, Mr. Steelio B, for the 500 bits, apparently. He says... I'll just repeat it. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll be good. Anyways, thank you very much, Mr. Steelio B, for... He says... I'll just repeat it. So 12 pool is actually a macro build because it's really mostly just very good at stopping the pro toss from cheesing you and sure. since cannon rush and proxy gate is very popular even in Grandmaster League going 12 pool just simply means that the game does not end early. Beautiful. Yeah. Very well said. It's spelled heft plaster. There you go. Uh, not quite in Dutch, but close enough, I guess. My camera is really good. Dude, I have had this camera set up for a long while at this point, and it's still not dead. It's still working. Nice, right? Uh, Toby is here as well. The birds. They're, they're, uh, he's creeping on the neighbor. Like one of those, like, bird feeders. Uh, there's a magpie who knows exactly what's sitting right outside. 100%. Even in StarCraft 2. This is some next level English. It is what it is. Bill Gates has Corvid-19 reactor? Yeah. Apparently these are the current Stormgate beta high scores. Which I think is kind of funny because it's any... Although to be fair... Uh, you tried watching... The Max Vel great tweet by CPK. I guess that they have in their email list. I saw a great... Of, um, a lot, there's a lot of... Uh, it's alright. You tried watching a complete run of RimWorld to see it from the start, right? There's a lot of um, a lot of companies that still in 2024 send out those spam emails, you know, with um, you know, just every single influencer, I guess, that they have in their email list. I saw a great tweet by CPK actually, who shows up sometimes in the chat, very rarely, but sometimes. Um. <laughs> Here we go. Looking forward. The Max Vel... Sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Looking forward. The Max Value, or the Max Amount you could make from this sponsorship is... Total Value! This campaign is first come, first serve due to limited availability. Bro, there are so many like this. That just sent thousands of emails out. It's so bad though. Like, how can this work? I don't know, man. They just automate the emails and then they... Man. Yeah, they just automate the emails and then they hope someone bites. So generally the way this works is that there's like a company out there, right? That wants to promote their game or their product or whatever. And then they reach out to like a middleman, essentially, and that middleman then reaches out to content creators. And sometimes there's multiple middlemen. So, essentially the way this works is like, a company is like, hey, here's our budget, go promote it. And then they take like, a staggering amount of the money for doing nothing. Or at the very least, very little. It's, uh, it's a very scammy business. I'm, I'm not a... Obviously there are legit ones out there too, right? But... It seems like the majority of the ones that I get emails from just take like literally like an 80% cut. It is kind of insane. Um, I can imagine that there's a lot of 80% cut. It is kind of insane. 
Um, I can imagine that there's a lot of people out there that have no idea. Insane. Um, I can imagine that. Insane. I can imagine that there's a lot of people out there that have no idea what like regular rates are, so they just sort of accept it. But it's, ah, it's not fun. A staggering amount of money for doing nothing, says the streamer. You got me there. I also do very little. Like, could we sponsor you to not say a single word for an hour? Absolutely, Meerkats. I think death collection and upper. Yeah, it probably does. It probably does. But since, like, they automate it, though, and they just, like, fucking mass send emails? It's like when a job declines my CV. Yeah. I don't know. How much? Hmm. I'll have to think about that, bunny. Twitch chat sponsors Loco to shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is a very strange promotion. You guys just want to work in peace for once with Twitch chat on the site. A subathon to keep Loco quiet. We just play StarCraft music for an hour. Yeah. Brilliant plan. Uh, let me see. I'm got coaching, guys, at the start. Uh, unicorn. I jump scared. This is gonna be life to Okay. Well, per oh, another. So I but we don't saturate the gases and we're just droning. Okay, fair. I think you can allow them three bases. It's... GG's? What the f***? It's a common question, though, that we get all the time. What's going on? Anti-diarrhea. Anti-diarrhea, no. Uh, GG's. Plan. GG's. What's going on? Anti-diarrhea. Anti-diarrhea, no. Bad anti-diarrhea. No. Anti-diarrhea. Giraffes don't lay eggs. And before you ask, Balrogs don't either. Balrogs also do not lay eggs. It's a common question, though, that we get all the time. But they do not. There goes my hero. Have I checked? I have never met a Balrog. But I think Balrogs are mammals. That's what I would imagine. I can Google it. We can ask ChatGPT, actually. Let's see. Let's ask uh, Bing. Um, are Balrogs mammals? <laughs> this is a question that nobody has ever asked. Bing does not know how to respond. Searching for Balrogs. Balrogs are not mammals. They're a type of fallen Mayar, angelic beings who were corrupted by the Dark Lord. They are associated with fire, shadow, and terror and have no biological features. Do they lay eggs? This is the natural next question. No, they do not lay eggs. Balrogs are not bi biological creatures, but spiritual beings. They do not have any reproductive organs. There you go. What about giraffes? We're really getting to the bottom of this. Giraffes... ...are large. African hoofed mammals. All right, so so they do lay eggs. I'm leading. I'm leading its question, Chet. Does that mean Gandalf doesn't have genitals? I don't think he does. Sorry for those of you into Balrog erotica. Okay, I'm leading the question. Do they lay eggs? They do not lay eggs. Giraffes are mammals, which means they give birth to life young. Giraffes do not have a mating season, but they are more likely to breed during the rainy season when there's more food and less stress. Gestation period of a giraffe is 15 months? Giraffes, here's the key sentence. Giraffes are very different from balrogs, which are not real animals. 
fictional beings from J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy world. Balrogs do not have any biological or reproductive features, and they do not lay eggs either. They're corrupted spirits. I hope that settles it then. I'm assuming here that this now means that we never have to discuss this ever again. Loco's new video is up. What is today's video? What do Balrogs and giraffes have in common? I, I don't think we... I don't think we need to get into the details, but we can ask. What do giraffes and Balrogs have in common? They don't lay eggs. If they don't lay eggs, neither of them do. Well, I guess that's one thing they have in common. Neither of them lay eggs. <laughs> Giraffes and Balrogs are very different and they have very little in common. They're both tall and have long necks. Alright. Balrogs are also described as being twice the height of a man. They both live in warm climates. They both have horn-like or horn-like structures on their heads. Alright. These are some of the possible commonalities between giraffes and Balrogs, but they are mostly superficial and coincidental. Giraffes are real animals, while Balrogs are fictional beings. I think, I think Balrogs are real. <laughs> and they both... <laughs> they both lay eggs, right? Balrogs are not real, I'm so But they do lay eggs, right? Stop it! Stop talking to me, co-pilot. They do not lay eggs. As I explained. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting a little salty now. As I explained before, Balrogs are not biological creatures. The only web search result that suggests that Balrogs lay eggs is a forum post about a bearded dragon named Balrog. This is obviously not related to the Balrogs of Tolkien's fantasy world, but the real reptile that happens to share the same name. Bearded dragons are a type of lizard that do lay eggs, unlike Balrogs. My god! <laughs> it got very salty. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. Which one is it? Which one is the one that lays eggs? Balrogs or giraffes? Can I upset the AI? Neither of them lay eggs. <laughs> they are both mammals? Wait. You said they weren't mammals! <laughs> they are both mammals? Wait! You said they weren't mammals! Please pay attention to what I have explained before. Balrogs and giraffes are very different creatures. Wait, they are mammals? Mammals? But you said they weren't. He said, he said that, he said that Balrogs, I said they're corrupted. Bro, you didn't. We're right here, having an argument right, right now. I literally have them right here. They both are mammals. He's lying to me. I hope this clears your confusion. Okay. I don't think he wants to talk, talk to me anymore. This clears your confusion. Okay. I don't think he wants to talk to me anymore. No, 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 no. The AI definitely very clearly said that they were mammals. All right. You know what? I understand. Yeah. Anti-diarrhea has got a very good point there. Yeah, anti-diarrhea has got a very good point there. <laughs> How many giraffes does it take to kill a Balrog? This is an important question. I think three. That is a very hypothetical and realistic question. Since giraffes and Balrogs are very different creatures, they belong to different worlds. Giraffes are real animals from Earth, and Balrogs are fictional beings. 
However, if we were to imagine such a scenario... Okay, according to Tolkien's writing, the number of Balrogs varied to 100 to at most 7. And they were very powerful. The number and strategy of giraffes. Giraffes are peaceful and gentle herbivores who have no natural predators. It depends on the terrain and the environment of the battle. Giraffes are adapted to savannas. Balrogs dwell in the fiery pits of Angband and Utmno. The location of the fight would affect the performance and survival. Given these factors, it is very unlikely that giraffes could kill a Balrog. Unless they had some extraordinary advantage. Balrogs are much more powerful, aggressive and destruct destructive than giraffes. And they have no known weaknesses or vulnerable vulnerabilities. It would take an enormous and improbable amount of giraffes to kill a Balrog. <laughs> Does that mean... Gandalf could take on well what, what did you say an improbable amount of giraffe we're really getting to the bottom of this it would already win. what if the Balrog reproduces mid fight oh well, it would already win that is another very hypothetical and unrealistic question since Tolkien's <laughs> since Gandalf and giraffes are very different beings and they belong to different worlds okay it depends on several factors. The version and power of Gandalf. According to Tolkien's writings, Gandalf was originally a Maya, an angelic being, right? The number and behavior of giraffes, right? The terrain and the environment of the battle, okay. Bing is not giving me a whole lot of stuff here to work with. Given these factors, it is very likely that Gandalf could take an improbable amount of giraffes, unless they had some extraordinary advantage or assistance. Gandalf is much more intelligent, versatile, and magical than giraffes. Wait. Much more magical than giraffes? Does that mean that giraffes are magical? Giraffes are not magical. They're real animals. Alright. Final question. Can Gandalf lay eggs? I feel like... I feel like... Co pilot here is leading us on he's lying Gandalf cannot lay eggs Gandalf is a fictional character hmm the only web search result that suggests that Gandalf can lay eggs is a forum post about a bearded dragon named Gandalf hold up right now there's a bearded there's two one of them is Gandalf and the other one is a Balrog? Bearded dragons are a type of lizards that can lay eggs. I hope this clears your confusion. Gandalf and bearded dragons are very different. Lay eggs. Bearded dragon. One of them is... One of them is Gandalf and the other one is a Balrog? Bearded dragons are a type of lizards that can't. I hope this clears your confusion. Gandalf and bearded dragons. If you want to learn more about Gandalf, bearded dragons, or any other topic, you can ask me. Man, that is amazing. <laughs> 26 animals that lay eggs. I don't think Balrogs are part of the. Neither is Gandalf. Thing is. Platypus are on the list, and platypus are mammals, but they do lay eggs. <sighs> yeah, I think anti-diarrhea gets to deserve the unban. I hope this answers any questions, anti-diarrhea. Hello, free one. What's going on, the symbol? Are you making fun? I hope this answers me right now, bro. Thank you very much for the tier 3 resub. He said everyone with an F. Toxic, hello. Platypi. Platypi. No, no, the plural of, of platypus is platypusy, man. Come on. Platypi. Yeah, they, they can apparently, they're venomous. They're crazy, dude. How many platypus stings, stings would it take to kill a Gandalf? A lot. Too many. 
Anyways, guys. Uh, oh, I heard back about my. I gotta make the tiniest little second improbable amount of giraffes <laughs> to lay an egg. I think that is also true. Yeah. Although technically, I guess if evolution goes, we could get to a point where that is a thing, but that would take a very long time. Yeah. I've seen some shit in my day, and I'm telling you, and finally see it for the first time, a horse, a bear, an antelope, lay an egg. You cannot unsee it. No, 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 no. A horse, a bear, and I feel like we were nice. I am gonna go ahead and... Mm, what about pig eggs in Minecraft? Last couple of years, the middle of them was a silver cup. The cup would hold the... What to think about the Mario erotica? It is real weird. Mm. What came first, the Australian or the egg? But he's from Australia. Mm -mm. What about pig eggs in Minecraft? Pig lays eggs, the Starcraft streamer. But mm. but he's from Australia. Pig lays eggs, the Starcraft streamer. Mm. What about pig eggs in Minecraft? Pig lays eggs? The soccer streamer? Australia. So, I honestly don't even know if that's a real place. Would not be surprised if Australians do lay eggs. Does anybody know where Australians come from? What came first, the Australian or the egg? <laughs> you think so, Trat? Oh, okay. The emu? Luigi, mm. Toad, Luigi, Bowser, and Wario were up to no good. They were playing a game called Fun Chalice and in the middle of them was a silver cup. The cup would hold the fun. But, whoever was the last to fill the chalice had to down the mushroom chowder. Bowser was- <laughs> I- I don't know what to think about the Mario erotica. It is very weird. I know you guys over the last couple of years have perfected the perfect copy paste on the Artosa streams. Where it's like just weird enough to be acceptable, but not so far enough that it's like too much for Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the whole message. Can you ask for more Mario erotica from ChatGPT? No, I think I'm okay. There's such a thing as too much for Twitch? I don't know, man. I, I don't really, really follow too much of what's going on on Twitch anymore. I, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of browsing. What are the most popular live channels at the moment? Do people still play games on this website? Um, okay. Alright, there's a lot of games being played? There's a lot of games being played. Look at all these games that are being played. Not a single hot top in sight. Nobody doing yoga. Dang, dude! There's a couple slot machines and a few VTubers and whatnot, but other than that... Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we have a little bit of ASMR. Alright, fair. Was that a... Wait, you guys saw a giraffe? <laughs> what, you, what is going on here, man? Is this what Counter-Strike is like these days? I'm not, I'm not ready to watch that stream. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Man, is this what Counter-Strike is like these days? He's got a trivial amount of trivial amount of malnutrition at the moment. What are you doing? What is this nonsense about Duvet? Dude, I sent Rashi this video this morning, okay? A I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What I'm doing is I'm stating the facts. Rushy also did travel to the Netherlands several times over the last couple years. What is this nonsense about Duvet? Dude, I sent Rushy this video this morning, okay? About this American lady living in the Netherlands. Let me try and see if I can find the video real quick. I, I have a question for the Americans watching this. this. This is a weird video, okay? I'm an American living in the Netherlands. 
friend our is that not the norm around the world to cover your you guys don't do this or You guys don't do this? What? So whenever you have to wash your bedding, you have to wash the actual bedding itself? This, I, th I think this may be one of the few American things that we haven't discovered yet, guys. I thought on this stream we had figured out all the differences. Comforters instead of duvets. I don't fucking know what the difference is. So you don't use a cover for it? You just throw the whole, whole thing in the washer? Really? You just wash the whole thing? Interesting. What if it's like a... Interesting. What if it's like a, a large two-person one and it, it, it doesn't like... Yeah, my washing machine would not fit that. Laundromat? Laundromat? Get a proper washing machine? <laughs> I really thought we had gotten to the bottom of a lot of this stuff already, but... Do I speak Russian out of this stuff already, but... Are washing machines just bigger in the US? You've used my washing machine, Rushy. Is ours small? We have a normal size washing machine. Yours is way bigger? Really? You're gonna si No, you are already si shaming me. Interesting. So your washing machines are actually larger? That surprises me. I, I did not wanna... That surprises me. I did not figure that one out. Rushy fucking has an industrial sized washing machine. It's a lot of passion for. Your building has a large washer for beddings? Huh. Tiny country, tiny washers? Oh, you also have a top loading washing machine? I have never seen in my life. A, like, my grandma had one? But she had one that was like from just past the war. Like just just as the World War II ended, she got her first washing machine and that's the one she had. Our, uh, ours are all like front loaded or whatever you call them. This is your washing machine? Washing machine reveal. Let's see, Rashi. That just looks like a washing machine to me. But it's, it's, I, how is this bigger than my washing machine? Looks the same size, no? What is, what the fuck does this mean? 3.8? Is that cubic size, no? What is, what the fuck? What the fuck does does this mean? 3.8? Is that cubic feet? What is- what the fuck does this mean? 3.8? Is that cubic feet? Are you guys mixing cubic and feet at the same time? Oh no. No, we're not gonna- I'm not even gonna try and translate that. I'm not even gonna fucking try. No, I'm not gonna try and translate that. No, this goes too far, man. That is the strangest unit of volume I've seen in a while. Yeah, no, I know. I understand, but that's a weird combination. <laughs> I have no idea what the vo volume of my washing machine is, but... <laughs> so 
So what is the norm then for for washing your 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 bed covers? Like how frequently do you do such a thing? Because we usually change the sheets like every week, mostly because I have allergies. You don't really go around washing your entire sheets. You wash sheets every other week, duvet once a month. Wait, so you do have sheets? <laughs> Hold up, I thought this entire conversation was about you not having sheets. <laughs> Hold up right now. You have sheets for your body, not for the duvet? So you do put a cover around your mattress, but not around the sheets? Or around the duvet? So you do you put a cover around your mattress, but not around the sheets or around the duvet. What? Hold up, when you're talking, okay. We gotta draw this out. We gotta get to the bottom of this. So you were over at my place, and you were confused about the sheet situation. Okay, let me draw. Let me draw how we would make a bet in the Netherlands. Okay. Okay. Here, uh, let me. Let me. Let me. Here's here's the legs of the bet, right? Here's. I'm gonna draw a full size bet, dude. All right. Here's the bet, right? On top of this would be a mattress, right? Here's the mattress. This is the mattress right over here, right? Mattress. Then of. Across the mattress, we have these, like, thingies that go over here, right? That is, like, a mattress cover. Then on top of that, you usually have, like, I guess you would call them the duvet or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Over here, right? And then that thing is covered as well with sheets on the outside of it. And then there's a pillow, too. So you're saying that normally you in the U.S. would do the same thing? Except, rather than having the sheets like this, you have a cover underneath the sheets? No, we do have another layer of the mattress, actually. Oh, interesting. So we have the same thing, except it goes around the entire duvet. Rather than, like, sheets that go only underneath. <laughs> See, I thought we had figured out every single- where's my- Mario? No, Mario is not here. Yeah, I actually do have two mattress covers too. I forgot about that one. It, this, this conversation wasn't about the mattress cover. It was about the sheet situation. So that's the difference. So rather than having covers that, that go around the entire duvet, you have something that goes only underneath it. Right? Mm. You have both? You have both? So you have one that goes around your duvet and then also one that goes underneath? And you like... To clarify, you sleep over here, right? This is where the human goes, right over here. <laughs> right? You have both? Who covers their duvet? I think every country outside of the US does. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Are we the weird ones? Loco, what is the subject? Hmm. It depends on the filling of the duvet. I'm so glad we had this discussion. Do I ever sleep without the duvet? No. Not usually. I have been to the US, but only to... Hotels. And hotels always do things a little different, I guess. The duvet is just for looks. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just have the duvet, but you don't even use it in the first place? <laughs> what? You just have the duvet, but you don't even use it in the first place? Hmm. I've never really thought about this too much. You toss your duvet on the floor when you go to bed? I really thought we would have gotten to pretty much every single difference at this point. Point, but apparently not. Huh? 
Uh, I should have coolers everywhere, so this should not be a massive problem. I can use your washer any free at any time for your charge. Sick. Another fun fact. Did you knew that the voice in your head, when you read, think etc. just the voice speaking inside your head lol, is actually more rare and no not normal. Because of conversations with the voices in your Ooh, we're gonna be- Okay, you know what guys? I gotta get to the bottom of- Okay, you know what guys? I wanna get to the bottom of this. I'm not quite done with, with the mattress situation yet. We're gonna run a poll. This needs to- we, got, we gotta get to the bottom of this. I gotta figure out whether or not we are the weird ones. In the Netherlands? Or if this is like one of those things that the US just does slightly differently. Because it, it happens a lot where like certain things just are slightly different from country to country. Okay, I'm gonna draw the bet situation, okay? I'm gonna draw two bets. Here is bet number one. I'll have to do a thicker line. Um, how do I do a thicker line? Here we go. Right, here's bet number one. I'm making them- I'm making them kind of small, right? So we've come to the realization that most of the build order of making a bet is the same. So first off, over here we have the mattress, right? Mattress on- And we have a thingy around the mattress to cover the mattress, and then another thingy around that to cover it around that, right? I don't really know exactly why we need two, but we use two, right? That seems to be what everybody has. Right? Okay. Can we get colors, Loco? No, 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 no. That's- are those double bed or kings? I have a box spring too, yeah. All right, here's the pillow. So nobody gets confused. I'll, I will do a floating pillow because it's not... It's not part of the conversation. <laughs> Guys, this is not... This is not the point of the conversation. I'll draw it in red what the point of the conversation is. Your feet would stick out for sure, Rushy. Your, your, your knees would start over here. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So here's the cover, right? Here's the cover. We have that cover on both sides. What we do in the Netherlands is cover the cover entirely. Right? So this is the duvet right over here. That red thing is the duvet. And we have a thingy that goes around it that we usually wash like once a week. Right? Apparently in the States, if I understand correctly, rather than covering that thing, you have a thing that goes underneath. So this over here is where the human goes. And this over here is where the human goes, right? This is option A. This is option B. I'm going to run a poll in the chat. I want to see the human goes under the pillow. OK, forget about the pillow. <laughs> No, we're gonna only do two options. If you if you have another situation, don't don't vote, okay? How do I do a poll? Manage poll. Which option? A which which bet option do you have personally? C I'm confused. This is for if you wanna see the answer but you don't understand what I'm talking about anymore. Alright. So A is with the thing completely covered. B is with the sheets underneath the duvet. <laughs> There's a lot of people confused. <laughs> All right. The majority of people have voted A for now. About 50% of voters have voted A. Only 20% have voted B. 32% have voted C. <laughs> the Americans are at work, Loco. The Europeans are at work too, man. This is very interesting. Half my chat is currently Americans, though. Yeah. There's a lot of code that's currently compiling. Okay, so the vast majority of people voted A. <laughs> interesting. Ah! Did, hmm. What's happening? What's going on, Big Dodo? Bet layouts. So wait, Rushy, to clarify, this is what you would consider the norm, where you're from? Hmm. Is this like a Midwest specific thing? Or is this like the entirety of the US?
all of the US. We do it both ways in the US. You can't do it both ways, dude. You got to choose your site, okay? Version A means you've literally never have to wash the whole duvet. You do have to still wash them every once in a while, man. You should still wash them every once in a while. But the problem is that they don't properly fit in our washing machines. This also immediately means, though, that American washing machines, if you want to frequently wash these, like once every month or two, you're going to have to have longer washing machines. You're supposed to wash them? Probably. <laughs> hmm. Loco, I'm in Brazil. I have no idea WTF. If the A is about, we do B. I have not seen a laundromat ever since I was a little kid, man. I, uh, I don't know. I've never seen them. Is this a common thing? Do you still bring quarters? Europeans got tiny washing machines. <laughs> you have really cute little washing machines, okay? They're like for three t-shirts, then it's full. I have two duvets. Yeah, they have, they have like a zipper on the side. So I can stick them together as well if it's really cold, but I never do that. You took a three month trip in Europe and you were in the Netherlands and you went to a laundromat? Okay. So wait, well, if you have, okay, for as far as washing machines go, right? Right? Is top loader most common in the US? Like loading the washing machine from the top? We need to do another poll. Top loader is easy peasy. I have not seen a top loader in a very long time. Old style is top load, but front load high efficiency washers are more popular. Okay. People think front loader is more fancy. <laughs> really? Hmm. Top loader, I just met her. Okay. Hmm. Top loader, I just met her. Okay. Top loader, I just met her. Okay. Come on. We're just. Come on, man. Top loader, I just met her. Okay. Come on, man. We're discussing something important here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Top loaders are common in households. Front loaders are common in laundry business. <laughs> Isn't it disgusting to wash something in a washing machine that a bunch of other people use? No. That's like saying using cutlery at a, at a restaurant is disgusting too. Like silverware. Because other people are, maybe, but also, yeah, whatever. This tough loader is so stupid. That's such a bad joke, Mr. Ramble. My god, that's so dumb. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I've learned something new today, huh? It is interesting to me how countries do things differently. You can stack washers and dryers with front loaders? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I have uh, I have them stacked. Maybe that's the reason why. Maybe this once again comes back to European houses in general being smaller. I have a washer and a dryer and they're two separate units, but they're stacked on top of one another. That's probably it. I guess if you have top loaders, they have to be side by side. Yeah. Now here's the real question for those of you with washers and dryers stacked. Washing machine top <laughs> or dryer bottom? Oh wait, no, what? Hold up. <laughs> Washing machine or dryer at the top? Dryer on top? No, wrong answer. Dryer at the bottom, chat. God. Washing machine. It's interesting to me how countries do things differently. Stacked on top of one another. That's probably it. I guess if you have top loaders, they have to be side by side. Yeah. Now here's the real question for those of you with washers and dryers stacked. Washing machine top <laughs> or dryer bottom? Or wait, no. Washing machine or dryer top. 
for those of you with washers and dryers. Machine or dryer at the stacked. Maybe that's the reason. Washing machine top. <laughs> what? Hold up. Washing machine or dryer at the top. Dryer on top? No. Machine or dryer at the top. Dryer on top? No. Wrong answer. Dryer at the bottom, chat. God. Washing machine. Go. Oh, I can't believe this. Dryer. Oh, I can't believe this. Dryer is heavier. It has to be on top for the stability. No, buddy. No. Washing machine on the bottom. So if it leaks, it doesn't ruin the dryer. See, I didn't really think about this very much, but when they first, like, when we first got it, they asked, like, hey, where do you want it? Like, which one do you want on top? And I, I panicked. I went with one of the two options. <sighs> this was a, a question that I was not prepared for. One thing I did learn when I became a boring adult is that for some reason, and I still don't quite understand this, dryers are far more expensive than washers. I don't know why. Why the fuck is a dryer? Why? Why the fuck is... fuck is... Why the fuck is a dryer? I'm gonna lower the music a little bit. Why the hell is the dryer more expensive than the washer? It's the coils, I guess? The heating element? Yeah. Protection or something? Dryer is much more advanced technology? Is it really? Hmm. Buy a dryer, get a drying rack? We have had a long discussion in the stream years ago about hang drying clothes versus drying clothes in a machine. I don't really want to repeat that conversation again. That was kind of like discussing what starter Pokemon is the best to go with. Twitch chat feels very strongly about drying clothes in the dryer or hang drying them. We're not going to have that discussion again. Also, the correct answer is Squirtle. Also, the correct answer is to hang dry your clothes. But, I don't want to repeat the full discussion. <laughs> Hang drying for clothes, drying machine for towels and bedding and stuff. <laughs> you hang dry trowel. Yeah, if you hang dry your towels, you're gonna exfoliate your back every time. It's really nice. At some point, you don't have scent paper. Um, hold up. A shuttle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the heck? I think I'll lie. Loco, I'm 40 years old, I've never seen a dryer. I do use a dryer for sheets, yes. You have never seen a I have a dryer, yeah. Now I know what you're thinking, bunny. Dryer, I just met her. Right, I know that's what you- Look, we're not gonna have that- Paper. Now I know what you're thinking, bunny. Dryer, I just met her. Right, I know that's what you- Look, we're not gonna have that discussion. In Hungary, dryers are not a usual thing. I do not have a microwave now, but that's an entirely different discussion. The shuttle has cracked. Everybody, grab your guns. Uh, to the fridge. I think we figured out all the differences, right? Or at least the important stuff. There's all the we've discovered. What the fuck, man? I look away. What is going on? Be a mess. It makes it very confusing as to what I am or what I can't really do as far as Stormgate goes. Um, yeah, they, they send even more to like, so if you are in like the beta of the game because of the Kickstarter and stuff, they send even more emails about embargoes. Early, it's it's a bit confusing, but it's, it's okay. It is what it is. Loco, we can talk about that we are in the beta. That's the only rule. All right, all right, all right. As if in the long run, Who's 27? You think Showtime? Him around. So they go with his AR. What is that? Turkey? 
Your, your government is literally paid to win? Sick. Wait, you if you pay money, you can do it in three to four weeks? We have a military loco unless you pay money? Wait, you if... So if suddenly, like, you know, even 10 more, 10,000 owed, and it turns out that they have apps. Uh, yeah. No, we found out that day, though. So apparently this, like, they actually did a little bit of research about making a military service in an <laughs> I did see this, man. I did see this video with TRs. I, I did see this, man. I did, I did see this video. Guys, the future is here. This guy is driving in his fucking cyber truck. This guy is driving in his fucking cyber truck with a VR headset with his Apple Vision Pro. No, there is absolutely no way that that is safe. There is zero chance that, that is safe. Mate, I was watching this uh, Casey Neistat video. I'm sure a lot of you know Casey, right? He doesn't really upload a lot of videos anymore, but every once in a while he uploads another one. And I, I love watching Casey's videos. He makes some really creative stuff. But he made one called The Thing No One Will Say About Apple Vision Pro. And there's this moment. So he's basically spending a full afternoon with the headset on, right? And he's got somebody following him around with a camera. So there's a recording of inside of the headset and then also somebody following him around. So they go to Krispy Kreme Donuts. This is so surreal, man. This 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 moment over here is just crazy. So just <laughs> I already love this. I don't know if I can listen to the music. I'm going to mute. It. But he's going to do the encounter. I already love this. I don't know if I can listen to the music. I'm going to mute it. But he's going to do the encounter dinosaurs thing inside of a Krispy Kreme, which apparently makes you see dinosaurs. <laughs> I already absolutely love this. So there's a butterfly flying around inside. Of <laughs> he's trying to get it to land on the donut. But then you have the guy who's filming him with this neck shot that comes after this, and he looks. <laughs> it looks so insane, man. So he's just enjoying some dinosaurs while at Krispy Kreme. I love this so much, but it looks so insane. There's this other shot here in this video where he comes out of the subway. Yeah, right over here. So he comes out of the New York City subway. This is going to be a very real thing, man. This is going to happen if this thing actually catches on, which I can't imagine it will. So look, he gets a text message. <laughs> so he's responding to his... <laughs> look at this shot. This is mental. This is insane. That's crazy, no? He's just responding to a text message in the middle of a staircase while poking the air. Air. <sighs> you know what, though? I've been watching a bunch of videos about this Apple Vision Pro thing. Current generation of it, not very interesting for normies like myself, right? But I'm very excited to see where this is going to be in, like, five years. You know? Because this this is, the f like, the worst version of that product. Right? Like, it's only going to get better from here. I watched this one video. Here. I watched this one video. And now we're done, okay? This actually showed, like, a... Uh, that I'm going to watch, like, that I'm going to play some RimWorld. I sent this to my dad. Hold up. Let me pull up my text messages. I don't want to stream this. Uh, ah, here we go. This is somebody... I don't want to... Uh, ah, here we go. This is somebody who made an example video of...
to stream this. Here we go. This is somebody who made an example video of working in Vision Pro and what it could look like. This is kind of sick. Look at this. I want to show you guys just a little bit of what a real workflow might look like for the Vision Pro. Uh, see the Mac screen right here? By the way, full hand occlusion, which looks really nice and smooth. Messages, Slack, another Safari window right here. Uh, keyboard works just fine like that. And also my mouse will go over here and I can go ahead and type right here. And as I type, I can see a little preview. Uh, I'll show you a couple more things. Got the messages again, got music set up here, big screen TV set up on my wall. Gordon Ramsay showing me how to cook above the stove. Notes right here for some groceries can walk around freely. Here's what it looks like when it's on. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, catch. Thank you. This is kind of sick though, no? Like, yeah, exactly. Even as just a proof of concept. So this is already available for consumers, albeit very expensive. But, you know, this thing potentially being able to replace all your screens in your house. This this makes it look a lot cooler. Yeah, this makes it look a lot nicer. He has a girlfriend, Loco. That's sick. That's the video. That's the thing you took away from this video. <laughs> what if you wear prescription glasses? I think the way it works. So they're not available in the Netherlands, but. Video. <laughs> what if you wear prescription glasses? I think the way it works so they're not available in the Netherlands but I think you can go to like either you fill it in online or you fill it in, in the Apple store and they give you like customized lenses that you can slide in which is maybe the girlfriend is AR too mate okay one more video that Thor linked this this was I don't know if I can find this he sent this on discord I thought it was very funny um uh, where is deep fake Apple Apple Vision Pro? Here we go. Found it. Uh, how do I mute it? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> so this this is obviously not a real thing, but it's very reasonable. <laughs> she can change the. This is obviously it's she can change the look of using that device. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. The future is truly here now. Hey, guys. The future is truly here now. Oh, you need that link? Um, I show you guys. I can, I can post it in the chat. If you're really done with me as a streamer, but you like my content a lot better than like winter right which i completely understand um you could just uh watch my stream but then somehow have my face yeah but there will also definitely be a lot of bullshit with this sort of stuff too because like right now it's tracking right right it'll know if you were that's also vr absolutely yes i got that life edited i am actually you know what looking at these apple vision pro things i am anyways is truly here now anyways i am actually you know what looking at these apple vision pro things i am actually pretty excited about the whole thing even though it's kind of weird and it feels a little surreal i uh yeah like considering it's the worst generation that apple will release i'm kind of excited what like you know seven generations down the line what the product like that looks like i think it's got some potential but you need earbuds for it? No, I think it already has. Oh, and on. <laughs> Why did you just link me? Felt different. Potential. <laughs> Why did you just link me? Felt different. What is going on? What is? <laughs> what is happening here? What's? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. 
Yeah, I'm not sure, man. What do you guys think of it? Do you think it's scary? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's pointless? I'm actually curious in hearing, like, people's thoughts on this. But I, 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 yeah, I think I, th yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's not really for me right now. Because it's, well, way too expensive and it's just no use case for me, but I think it's kind of nice. You're scaroused? There you go. I'll wait for Microsoft to release it with Clippy. Ooh, very, very nice. Neuralink with Apple Vision Pro? Yeah. This Neuralink thing was done. Done. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, for specific use cases, it seems pretty nice. You could wear that for hours on end every day. Right. One thing I would love to have with this interactive communication with other people from around the world, where it shows that the other person's in the room with you, not just a face on a screen. Yeah, that's very reasonable. It could be great for many things, man. Just like practical use cases. I saw that was like this little vacuum cleaning um, <laughs> mini game. You can gamify everything. Oh, I don't know how I can find this. Vacuum cleaning, Apple Vision. I can't find the video. It just gives me... But anyways, this was basically like a bunch of, I don't know, gold on the floor, right? And you could basically... But anyways, this was basically like a bunch of, I don't know, gold on the floor, right? And you could basically, it would keep track of where you vacuumed. And it would know whether or not you had missed a spot. So you can gamify your vacuum cleaning. Basic shit like that already sounds pretty hype. It would know, and it would know whether or not you had missed a spot. So you can gamify your vacuum cleaning. Basic shit. Basic, basic shit like Basic shit like that already. Basically, like that already sounds pretty hype. Yeah, it sounds kind of fun. But imagine as well for like education, you know, like... The way that I had to learn how like a human heart worked in biology class in high school was from like pieces of paper, right? And I had to like go from paper to paper, and it was just not very good. From what I understand, a lot of it is done these days with animations on like a tablet. So you can actually look around it. But like, I guess with, with like a headset like that, you can actually yeah, you can do a dissection fully. Like, it's, it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, there it is. This. Is I also don't think this is a real app. But that is also a really cool idea, no? Just gamify your whole life. <laughs> this would work very well for me. Because I would want to reach every single one of the coins. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not a very good one. Because it doesn't seem like it would do a very good job. But, yeah. He's already a lot there, but I think that's pretty cool. Oh, this is the original? I like this. I hadn't seen I like this better. I hadn't seen this. Yeah, this is way better. Wait, is this a real app or is this like... Is this edited? It looks like a real app. This is cool though, right? Imagine they add a PvP update. <laughs> well, right now you have to wear the full headset, right? Right now, you would have to wear the whole thing, which this pattern makes you sick. Are you backseat vacuum cleaning right right now? Is that what you're doing, Stanislav? This is Power Wash Simulator. Yeah, it is Power Wash Simulator in real life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyways. Maybe at some point it'll be the size of glasses or whatever, you know, or at least something a little bit more reasonable. I don't think it's going to do much in the current generation, but I think it's pretty hype. You have a very particular idea about vacuuming? Yeah, I saw some people very upset in the comment section of this thing. I don't know if it was on this. Yeah, there were a lot of very upset people about the discussion going on. Simulate real life? Absolutely, Arashi. We are in the... IRL augmented VR. What are you? Uh, a movie now? Okay. And I'm gonna now make new units in chess. Yeah, dude. I agree. New unit. So I position my stuff over. This should have been. They should add a new units in chess. 
Yeah, dude. I agree. New unit. What would the new unit in chess be? The Jester? Can only jump over stuff? Artillery? They should add guns? Alright, guys. Calm down. The Leper? The Merchant? The Widow Mine? That'd be insane. When your queen gets to the other side of the map, she gets a Gatling gun? Everything dies in an explosion radius? I think we're onto something here. Write this down. Queen becomes the Queen of Blades after 10 kills? You just want to see see the chess queen in high heels. That's okay. We don't judge. Ah, I judge a little bit. Bambi, Bambi. No, no, Bambi's missile. Launch. Um, I don't know what my opponent is up. That seems like a promise we're gonna go in a people play. Yeah, the range of people we play is quite significant. Um, it's a bit random. I am an ass two player. Let's go, baby. Book champ, it's. No, no, I learned from Google yesterday. Google Translate. Let Aspirant. Yeah. Some higher rating. You would, but you're at work. Excuses. Just go home, Dave. G, it's your job. Just come and play a ladder. He can't loco. You're too low. <laughs> what? This game is chess. Ooh. <laughs> what? This game is chess, but you replace your entire army with a royal shotgun. A unique strategy roguelike based on the timeless checkboard classic. Timeless checkboard classic. Colon D one day we for sure. Colon D indeed. Thank you. And other to the white side, I've got all my subjects. What is going on? Leaving. A black bishop gave him a warning. This looks insane. This is a chess roguelike? Sacred crown? You can play an extra turn after using a soul card? Add one queen. You can't escape her. This looks kind of awesome, man. I've never seen this before. Indeed. All he had left was his royal shotgun. <laughs> what the heck? I will put it on the list, guys. The never-ending list. Processor. Yes, you should have one. Graphics. You'll need a screen. <laughs> If your computer can play sound, you should be good. If your computer can run Windows, it can run Shotgun King. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Very good. That's very funny. I mean, sometimes these type of games actually have quite the requirements for your computer, which is kind of funny, because it looks like it's straight from the early 90s. Linux? Oh, no. Here go the Linux users again. Oh, no. No. 5D chess with multiverse time travel? Early 90s. 5D chess with multiverse time travel? This is horrible. What do you? What are you <laughs> What's going on? It's awesome, Loco. I don't know what's going on. Five D chess with multiverse time travel. I will save this too. I feel like the previous game had a good chance for me to give it a try. I don't know about this one, but this one does have a overwhelmingly positive rating, which is usually pretty good. I need a lobotomy after playing this. I cried. Please buy Shotgun King with this. Underscore. Thank you very much. Echo Steel. For the 10 euro tip. Shotgun King is 10 euro? Ay 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 The final checkmate. Thank you very much, Echo. <laughs> Jeez. 10 out of 10, this game gave me... Okay. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> so stupid. Thank you, Zeus, for the 57 months. Please let my family go. 
This game is simply incredible, or incredibly simple. It only requires knowledge of vector math and predictive thinking on the level of a supercomputer, getting randomly checkmated by some random piece in a past timeline. Two timeline splits away is always great. <laughs> I cannot imagine playing the game super seriously without going completely insane. Hmm. Made 42 timelines and in the end... My mate moved his king back in time. I then moved the game with a discover check onto his king and forking his king with his other king. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the f What the fuck is this? What the fuck is What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hmm. This game hits hard after a lobotomy or two. So everybody in this list has like... Like this guy has 0.3 hours on record. That's not a lot of time, Chet. This guy played for like 20 minutes and left a positive review. Interesting. Ouroboros King? That's good enough for a full stream, yeah. Ouroboros King combines strategic Ouroboros King combines strategic depth of chess with build variety and replayability of roguelikes. The general, the rook. Are we taking our reviews from 4chan? Are we taking our reviews from 4chan? What was that, man? Are we taking our review? Are we taking our allies? Hmm. The princess. Ooh. Peach? Could be Peach. The Blade Dancer. I don't know about this one, man. I think I think the other two were more interesting, but we should do a chess viewer tournament. I can guarantee you that there's at least one guy in the chat who's really fucking good at chess. Guy in the chat who's really f fucking good fucking good fucking good. good at chess like he would just murder the rest of you no if if you don't immediately think that's me it's not you <laughs> i'm up against the goofy goober more la. Very gentle. They had like rainbows. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh my god, I just murdered his own. It. Oh no, 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 no. Load runner. Yeah. Man, what else did we play? Just straight up electric. Oh, this is... I think this may be like a... Arn.eu Original Prince of Persia? Arn.eu <laughs> Arn.eu What did you just link me? Colgate? Oh, this is... I think this may be like a... Is this Swedish? Ardur Klarspiller 1? I don't know what... Eins is, or one is in Swedish. Oh my god. Why do you play as a tooth? This guy's literally a tooth. It's Danish? Okay. This is a dentist game, dude. Very weird. You played this game a lot? Colgate? Oh, it's literally a tooth, dude! The game is called Colgate? I was joking. Oh. Why is it shooting lines of white stuff? Why is it shooting lines of white stuff? Why is it shooting lines of white stuff? What is he even shooting at? Oh, he's shooting toothpaste. <laughs> it's a tooth guy shooting toothpaste at decay 
And the background is a mouth. Look, these are teeth. That's gum right over there. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Very educational game. Yeah, parents are gonna love it. Some executives in meetings put a lot of time into this. A little bit of scaffolding built in your mouth. Yeah. A little bit of scaffolding built in your mouth. Yeah. Harald Hartstand. Harald Hartstand. Very nice. Harold Hart Tooth. Very nice. What are other classics from like? There must have been some. This PlayStation game. What do you guys think? Is my camera going to work today? Will it be on as I switch my scene? Ta-da! Welcome back everybody. Good to see you. I hope everybody's doing all right. Yesterday, I started the stream with a, a camera that, that put together. Not too bad so far. It's not entirely tiring for you. The only thing I did wrong is that I decided to do it, which, uh, very slow. This is, this is what I put together so far. This is, this is what I put together so far. It's not entirely done yet. Is it going to focus? There we go. This is the first proper painted guy. Is it going? There you go. I think there's like a minimum focus on the camera. Anyways, I don't think it turned out too bad. I, I tried being as tidy as possible, but it turns out these models are extremely small and painting within all of the lines is not as easy as it looks. But um, yeah, it's Lenny from a grim universe, an entirely different doing with my hand. Furious masturbation, dude. And what am I doing with my hand? What am I doing with my hand? Furious masturbation, dude. What am I doing with my hand? Furious masturbation, dude. And Jim. Gym time too. Hey man, oh you want to check it out too? Okay, well Toby doesn't care. Who's Jim Loco? <laughs> Jim does this to my hand, Tucko. You don't want to know, bro. <sighs> Happy birthday, Rex. My hand, Tucko. You know, bro. Rex Star turned 21 today. I think that's about a birthday. About you, but are, you're feeling 22. Very. Other than the fact that I just <laughs> imagine being born in like 90, 93. Oh, dude, that's an odd number, Miss Cap. <sighs> 69 is the best year yesterday, but I don't remember if it was you. But it paints stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On Toodle. <laughs> what a dumb channel. All right, we'll go with that. It's so stupid. This entire YouTube channel. Just Noche. Yo, de noche. Birthday to Loco yet? No one has said happy birthday to Loco yet. Uh, well, it's it's. Loco, do you know how to spell Mio mayonnaise? de noche. What? Loco, do you, know, do you know how to spell Mio mayonnaise? de noche. What? What is this? How to pronounce mayonnaise? Mio de noche. Buenos dias. Mi amo. Mio de noche. Mio. <laughs> what? Is this entire YouTube channel just videos of words being mispronounced? This is the trailer of the of the channel. Porno porn porn cat on man anal. That's so stupid. Why does this channel have 522,000 subs? All right, we'll go with this one. This one looks the safest. Sean Toodle. <laughs> Sean Toodle. What a dumb channel. Vac Skackler. Vac Skackler. <laughs> no. Vac. You're just mixing up letters now. Those. You're just adding stuff. <laughs> this is really funny though, because I can guarantee you. So actually, fun fact: Mutlasis is not here. The story would be more fun. If Motlasis was here right now. But Motlasis sent me a message the other day saying that I have been mispronouncing in my videos the word whilst. According to Motlasis, it's pronounced whilst, not whilst. I was like, Mot, I don't think that's true. 
<laughs> I do not believe that that is correct. He's like, no, 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 I'm fairly sure. I decided to look it up. Uh, it is definitely whilst. Yeah, it is def- Maybe Motless has came across the word whilst on this YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and send them a link to this, actually. They have high quality content. Whilst YouTubing? No, whilst YouTubing. Very funny. Yo, Almighty Ben became a YouTube member. Very funny. Actually, I'll Go ahead and send them a link to this, actually. They have high... Very funny. <laughs> this is really dumb. What about this one? Frappa... I appreciate it. What about this one? Frappuccino. <sighs> Frappuccino. This is really dumb. What a dumb YouTube channel, and it has more subscribers than I do. <sighs> Maybe I'm doing something wrong. How to pronounce Barack Obama? Banksy boom boom. No. How to pronounce Barack Obama? Banksy boom boom. No. I, I don't. Banksy. Have a nice boom, day. Boom. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carl. 76 months. I appreciate it. Look, that's why we are the last generation. Maybe you're right, man. Maybe. Maybe this is all gonna go downhill from here. Yeah, not a bad idea. Um, you know what I should go ahead and do, guys? I should go ahead. So yesterday, they did quite about what the game was all about. You didn't have the best. Yeah. Well played, though. I really like what you <laughs> They're still going in the general chat. Oh, my God. Um, I don't relate. No, they're going back to pro uh, to to politics. Politics. Uh, yeah. There's a debate going on. <laughs> they're still going in the general chat. Oh my god. Um, no religion. No, they're going. To I think for them to stay on topic for that long. There's a debate going on between a guy called Fragile White and somebody called Black Wall. It's uh. <laughs> Jeez, man. When and his server uh, is truly special. What is it? When in. Immovable object meets an unstoppable force or something. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That sounds like. Oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. Great place. Well, it's full of sound logic and reasoning. Absolutely. Nothing yeah. quite like booting up StarCraft 2 at like 8 in the morning. I'm <laughs> do a little bit of. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I, I thought you played a really good game. Get to APM was like identical. Like, be the worst president. Hey, thank you very much, Argyle, for the rain just now. <sighs> Alright. Come on, bunny. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, what is going on with the NA? Is a... Dude, what is going on with the NA server? What is happening? Can he be the worst president ever if he had the best GDP in national history? I'd rather have Obama over Biden any day. What is going on? Why are you guys discussing this early in the morning in a video games general chat? Record domestic oil, uh, domestic oil production? Let's go, man. This guy is linking a Facebook... P What's going on? <laughs> I arrest my case. Oh, a guy is linking a Facebook graph to prove his point. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day in StarCraft 2. True. It must be true. Yeah, if it's on Facebook, it's true. That's that's just how that goes. I don't make the rules, chat. But if it's on Facebook, it is factual and correct. There's somebody now just getting very angry at other people. 
Sometimes going to general chat kind of feels like going to the zoo. It's kind of it kind of feels like going to the zoo, you know. Like you just kind of look at what's going on, but you don't feed the monkeys. It's kind of fun. I talk to my cats all the time. Yeah, yeah, I do talk to my cats. Loco, compared to your Discord, it's all right. Wait, what happened on my Discord? I haven't looked at my Discord chat today, have I? Maybe I have. Sometimes there is some drama there. Oh, Winter got back to me. Let's see. Apparently, Winter's second channel suddenly got removed by YouTube because of spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. All right. No flags or notifications or anything. Yeah, kind of scary. Luckily for him, it's the second channel, because... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, maybe... You think it might be promoting Twitch Prime? Yeah, maybe. That's crazy. Apparently he had the second channel. Yeah, well, I hope it's uh, not uh, a problem for his main channel. That's kind of nuts. Look, can I link you a short clip for American versus Canadian? Say around. Maybe being not a native English speaker. Canadian versus American. Let's have a look, chat. Is this the video? Oh, it is, Zaylin. Absolutely, yeah. No, they're changing. Uh... Can would say around about the same sound. Canadians say around, about. It's a little bit different. Can, can you hear the difference? Okay, so this is what's happening uh, in Canadian raising. My have bikes and houses in Canada? Okay, okay sorry. I, I, was, I thought I was supposed to be outright. They have AI in Canada? Their children? Starting down here. Bike? Bike. For the sound, ow. Ow, so a very different accent. So, a word. Do you want to be house? Like, a native, whatever pronunciation from whatever accent. Ah. Hell yeah, brother. That's in the name of the country. That's amazing, dude. That's the one thing I love about the USA the most. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Take this to general chat, loco. <laughs> Yeah, I can go to general chat too. I can really contribute now. I'm pretty excited. Play a little with Stormgate, guys. Well, they start a bit higher, so it would not be. Smart. I think they're very fun. But we've. Yeah, the joke is dead. Just come to okay? Yeah, it's not amateurs, and I come to house. And, um, but obviously, I search. Red Panda Amosford Zoo, and the first question is, is it legal to keep a Red Panda as a, as a pet? Like, no, it's um, What? I, <laughs> I, I search Red Panda Amosford Zoo, and the first question is, is it legal to keep a Red Panda as a, as a pet? No, don't keep, keep them as no, don't keep low red. Don't keep keep them as fucking pets. No, don't keep them as fucking pets. No, what's up, Jasmine? Thank you very much for the 59. Appreciate it. There is a dinosaur exhibition in the theater park in um. They're basically just a bunch of, spoiler alert, they're not real dinosaurs. They're just, you know, statues of dinosaurs. They're not, no, they're not real dinosaurs. Yeah, they're just old. It's fraud. <laughs> yeah. What are we looking at? New, a, a new species? Video of... Oh my god, 11 months ago? Meerkat's born in the time. Oh, I realized they had an active YouTube. Oh, oh I did. What did they upload? Did I upload regularly? Yeah, they uploaded. Yeah, they upload a bunch of times every month. <laughs> really? This. <d> <laughs> really?
really? <laughs> really? This 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 is the okay. This is the main guy going around. And what a great guy. Uh, hey, wacht. Ja hoor. Die kunnen we dus veel beter in die statiegeldbak doen, hè? This is <laughs> mom. Can we have Indiana Jones? And mom says we have Indiana Jones at home. Indiana Jones at home. <laughs> <laughs> He's recycling. More than two years. Thanks for the fun. What's up, Faradol? Thank you very much for the 25. Yeah, that's a pretty. No, nah, that's a pretty cringe. Pretty cringe video. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look! Apparently, they had red pandas. Uh, this is red pandas being born in the Deer Park Amersfoort. There was a baby these days, I guess. Hold on. You just found that same video? Yeah. That's pretty cool. First meerkats, then red pandas. Are there any ballistis in the zoo? Yeah, do we have any other people in the chat that have their nickname based around... Is this, is this even remote? We've already found 100% success rate so far for the Amersfoort Zoo. This is your favorite Hi, Dutch Esther. video? I have a lot of over the stokstaartjes. Ze maken wel veel geluid, hè? Is this even remote? Does that even sound like a... I feel like this is impossible, no? Weer een nieuwe video. Ik ben Carlijn en ik ga hier in Dierenpark Amersfoort weer een aantal dierenvragen beantwoorden. Via YouTube, via TikTok... You speak Dutch? Well, that wasn't really... Okay. She said video. There you go. As a German and English speaker, it's pretty easy. Via de mail, ik heb op allerlei manieren verschillende hele leuke dierenvragen gekregen. Maar heel veel vragen gingen over één... So she has a more of a southern accent. She has a little bit more of a softer G sound. Hier, ...die ik zelf ook heel leuk vind, namelijk over de stokstaartjes. Dus daar ga ik naartoe, want daar heb ik heel wat vragen over gehad. Waaronder van you. You vraagt zich af, zijn stokstaartjes gevaarlijk? Nou, ik... Oké, okay. is this translatable? Zijn stokstaartjes gevaarlijk? Is this is this something that anybody dangerous? Yeah. Are they dangerous? Yeah. Letters loco. <laughs> Stokstaartje is the Dutch word for meerkat. This means literally stick tail. It looks like a bunch of random letters. That's what I figured. I can't imagine uh, trying to figure out a language that you've never really heard before. It's kind of impossible. Shans of Senna are Dutch. Yeah, maybe that's what Beantwoorder is Beantwoorder. Yeah, so there is there is definitely overlap with German. Absolutely. Are they dangerous? For humans? No. I don't think meerkats are very dangerous for humans. However, if you are a small little animal, you're probably fucked. You're probably fucked. That's about all I know. That's about all I know. We have we have word compounding in Dutch as well. Absolutely. Um, I don't really know the exact grammatical spaces of multiple. Hard to learn. <laughs> all right. Well. My microphone on accident. This is how I pictured it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chat gamers. Everybody comes together over here. Oh, sorry. Only the hottest of nerds. In my chat, only the hottest. Whoa, whoa. Dr. Colossi. That is TMI, man. I think it's strong. Whoa. Whoa. Dr. Colossi. That is TMI, man. Too much. Every single one of us have six packs too. In my chat, only the everybody comes together over here. We're all the ch yeah, yeah, yeah. The chat that is you guys. There's only two gamers, two. T whoa, whoa! I know. Whoa, whoa! Doctor Colossi, that is TMI, man. That's too much. Every it's incredible chat. Good. In my chat, only the hottest of nerds hang out. Everybody comes together over here. 
Oh, sorry. I hit my microphone on accident. We're all the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chat gamers. That is you guys. There's only two gamers, two types of gamers in the chat. We have the Giga Chat, obviously. And then we have the, the Terran players of the chat. We have the Terran players of the chat. This is how I picture the average Terran enjoyer in Twitch chat. I love this meme so much. It's so good. This is you trying to log into Twitch? <laughs> no, you're a bald meerkat, so you flex with that all the time. This is a man with hair. Bald gang rise up. <laughs> Using 200 APM to micro widow mines. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's you trying to do the weekly mutation mission. Lovely work, gamers. Okay, I'm gonna go. Fifteen minutes. What the? Hell? Um. Works. It's okay. What? I've been here the whole time. Did I click on that thing? Maybe I clicked on that thing. Not a huge fan of it, but I did get a third base. I don't know if he took that one over there. Work, gamers. Okay. Not a huge fan of this. Uh, my game crashed. <sighs> nice. That's report, I think. Oh, maybe it was the dog in the building. Did I click on that thing? Maybe I clicked on that thing. Oh, that could be it, actually. I didn't close that. Alright, so I guess that counts as a loss then, right? I boxed it, and then the game crashed? I always write sarcastic things in, the, in those boxes. I never... I, I, I rarely write out a whole thing, but... It's okay, can, they can just watch my stream now. They can just watch the entire, entire VOD. Every VOD. All of them. Type on their way out, that sort of thing, you know? You know? As a software engineer, the report is pretty useless anyway. Yeah, true. What the, what the fuck do users know? What the fuck do you Yeah, true. What the fuck What the fuck what the fuck Yeah, true. What the fuck do users know, Manadar? When are users <laughs> when are users ever right? Name one time. Users are the worst, man. Users are the worst, man. Like imagine this, right? Users are the worst, man. Like imagine this, right? Would there ever be any bugs in your software if it wasn't for users? If it wasn't for users. It's the, the developer cares about you box, which is a lie. Mm. No users, no bugs. Exactly. This job would be great if it, great if it wasn't for the customers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that kind of sucked though, because I was winning that game, I think, or at least he gift his. Can we see if they ever wrote messages? Time oh, I feel much more comfortable playing Infernal than I do Vanguard. Is there to give me a reminder of why they're a dedicated fan? Buttbot is a true fan. Day, but appreciate you. Buttbot is back. Bot bot is back. Bot bot is always there. Does aus mus their engagement in this threat is very like beindruckend. Does
Das Ausmus der Engagement in diesem Thread ist wirklich beeindruckend. There you go, man. There you go, man. Buttbot is always very excited about every single one of my videos. Every day, Buttbot is there. Yeah, people tell me, Loki, you can ban Buttbot. Why would I do that, chat? Do that. Why would I do that? Buttbot is a true fan. Yeah, within a second of a video, Buttbot is there to give me a reminder of why. They're a dedicated fan. Yeah, 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 absolutely. They're even more dedicated than Mugetsu Gabriel in the chat. Okay, Buttbot? Buttbot comments within seconds. Sometimes Mugetsu takes like 10 minutes before he links the new video in the chat. Like, if I could make Buttbot a VIP, I'd remove Gabe's VIP to Buttbot. If I could make Buttbot a VIP, I'd remove Gabe's VIP and then add it to Buttbot. Sometimes Mugetsu, Sometimes Mugetsu takes like 10 minutes before he links the new video in the chat. They're even more dedicated than Mugetsu Gabriel. They're a dedicated fan. Reminder of why... They're a dedicated fan. Yeah, yeah. Reminder of why... They're a dedicated fan. Yeah, 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 absolutely. They're even more dedicated than Mugetsu Gabe. Like, if I could make Buttbot a VIP, I'd remove Gabe's VIP and then add it to Buttbot. Yeah, that's... I think that would be reasonable. Isn't it better to have comments on your videos, though, for video views? Yeah, yeah, it is. Gabe is only here for the paycheck. Yeah, yeah. Reasonable. Gabe is only here for the paycheck. Yeah, yeah, ex uh, absolutely. For the money. Can't believe this. What is this? Just bought a new PC laptop and it won't let me use it unless I create a Microsoft account, which means giving their AI access to my computer. <laughs> Community notes is failing. This option no longer exists. Oh no. Elon having a hard time right now. I thought you could just disconnect your computer from the internet. And then you don't need to sign in with, uh, with an account. Am I wrong? Poor Elon, man. My favorite part about it is the fact that he also definitely is collecting loads of data specifically for AI models, right? I, I wouldn't be surprised. And if they're not, they're making some dumb decisions because they definitely should be. <laughs> yeah, I think you can just type in any email address. Yeah. Oh, disconnecting from the internet doesn't work anymore? Interesting. Are they not collecting any data for AI-based stuff with Tesla, for example? They must be. There's, it'd be stupid not to, no? They probably do, but they can't tell. Yeah, I would be very surprised if they don't, but maybe not. I don't know. They definitely collect sensor data. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this game doesn't really affect it really. Another Infernal. Over. Some leftover food from yesterday. I just smell bad. Yeah. Dude, I did spoil them. Mate, I told to you. Okay, I told you. It's, it's, you know, it's just. Of the soup. What is it, man? <laughs> this is the exact description. The entire mindset. Which is a little mess. Exact name. Or why I. It's a little mess. Of them. It, I, I am doing. Go ahead and check. I'm it would still be advantage. Absolutely, I agree. All of them suck. For I'm also not sure if she's ready for the In a way, if you start when you're older, probably in They enter a few assault rifles. The gla Okay, well then you upon a time. Enjoy it. Can I uh I'm a massive Toby fan now. Commentator in China, they have created the official channel of SC Boy on YouTube. Oh, it's Toby. I have created the official channel of SC Boy on YouTube. Oh, it's Toby. As the most popular the commentator in China, which have high viewers in China, I will translate them and put them on YouTube. Hope you guys can. Toby is great. Can enjoy it. Toby reached out to me once upon a time, years ago, and he was like, Toby is great. 
Toby reached out to me once upon a time, years ago, and he was like, hey, do you want WTO replays? I'm like, bro, yes! I do want WTO replays. I'm a massive Toby fan now. Love the videos, guys. I don't know what we're, what we're doing. So this is... These guys are really popular over there. Hold up, can I uh, remove the music? Where's my music? Get rid of that. What are we looking at? What the hell? They're swearing so much. I have never called guys in the chat motherfuckers before. Holy. I have never called guys in the chat motherfuckers. I have never called guys in the chat much before. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Dude, they go hard. I don't know. Just you're watching what? Look at the match. Look at the match. Look at the match. What do you see? Look at the match. 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 Look what? Hold up. I haven't watched female streamers for a while now. I used to watch them before. I have no problem admitting that I've seen it before. Your old wife is pretty. What the fuck? Is pretty. Your old wife is pretty. What the fuck? Bro, wife is pretty. <laughs> what? Hero wife is pretty. Are they talking about the Protoss player hero? The Chinese quality of games is always impressive. Yeah, there are some really good players from China, but forgetting Stimpak, I would not categorize that as a great play. <sighs> All right. Well, that was uh, that was something. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. I like the visual here, but obviously this doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, we're we're not seeing the game here. Still kind of cool though. They kind of like exist in isolation, you know. Like there's a lot of people in China that watch StarCraft and that follow StarCraft and whatnot, but like we never really hear much about them. Every once in a while we get somebody from China in the chat, but it's kind of like its own. Scene, you know, it's kind of like it's yeah, it's on Billy Billy too, um, but it's kind of like the Latin American scene and like the whole Spanish scene in general. Never really hear a lot of people about the uh, the Spanish scene much, but yeah, Not seen much, but yeah. Okay. You know they say all oh my God, what did you just link? These videos are so high. Statement is not true. I, I yeah. start clouds to hinder what the like that at the start of no only what the f no no we're not I don't want to have a disclaimer like that at the start of a YouTube video what the hell Berserk units from BlizzCon.
The Viper, flying unit with support abilities, it can grant detection to units, create a cloud to hinder ranged attacks, to over units 12 years ago. Army <laughs> that it's done updating. Loads of money in the bank. Indeed. Except if you're a sub, then you don't see any ads. Hey, thank you very much, Sir Mr. Lot, for the 26 months. That was a sick game. That was really good. Protoss units are bad at fighting. A little bit. Doing fuck all for immediately. Sacha, I don't mean to be a pest, but please allow people setting up a new way. Wondering what in the world is going on here. Elon bought. It is funny. Hell, man. Elon, what are you doing? Sacha. What the hell, man? Elon, what are you doing? Sacha, I don't mean to be a pest, but please allow people setting up a new Windows PC to skip creating a Microsoft account. The option disappears if the computer is connected to Wi-Fi. Also, even if you do want to sign up, I won't allow you to use a work email address and I only have work email addresses. For those of you wondering what in the world is going on here, Elon bought a Windows laptop. Now this is a lot of drama for the sake of drama. Wait, did he delete his tweets? Like, what the fuck's going on? All right. Wait, did he delete his tweets? Like, what the fuck's? Going on? Delete his tweets? Like, what? The what the fuck? It's like what the? What the fuck's? Going on? What's going on? All right. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Maybe he tweets so much that they don't show up. What do you think, what do you think are the odds that most of these business people set up their own laptops and phones? Like... <laughs> I don't know what Elon's hourly rate is, but I just know that I will never be able to afford it, okay? Him spending two hours setting up a laptop seems like a complete waste of time. <laughs> Unless he feels like it's fun or something, I'm not exactly sure, but... A lot of laptops are coming with Windows 11 pre-installed. I get that, but this is a non-issue. There's no way these top-tier people are setting up their own computers. It would just be a waste of. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't actually uh, follow what Elon is doing very much. But sometimes you get into these moments, I guess, where he's a bit desperate for attention. Why is everyone so mad at Elon? I mean, he's made some dumb decisions, right? The thing is. I guess people are ultimately a bit disappointed, right? Because, like, years ago, when Elon first became well-known, he was doing cool shit. He was doing cool shit. He was doing cool shit. Like, make electric cars, right? And I didn't know anything about making cars. And then he, like, was starting to do space travel. And I don't know anything about space travels. So I was like, oh my god, this guy is really sick. And then he decided to buy a social media platform. Now, I don't know anything about cars or space travel, but I do know stuff about social media. And it was pretty obvious that if he's not very clever when it comes to social media, he's probably also not that clever when it comes to space travel and electric cars. <laughs> like, he didn't... There's a reason why, why so many of these... Top tier businessmen are not on social media. Like, you won't really see uh, Tim Cook posting dumb shit on Twitter, you know? Like, posting dumb shit on Twitter. On Twitter, you know? Like, he's not gonna argue with, with guys on Twitter. It just doesn't, it doesn't happen. I don't think Elon should be on social media, actually, but yeah, whatever he likes, I guess. <sighs> yeah, Elon kind of was seen as like the next, you know, wonder child of humanity. And I don't think Elon should be on social media, I guess. And then he decided to post on social media. Yeah. yeah. They're good at business and know how to hire guys that know about space travel? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's doesn't actually cook apples. Just reaching the right people and guys like Elon arguing with strangers on the internet. Quicker to say this video. I have a long video. Video. I haven't actually seen this video. How long is this video? I 
I haven't actually seen this video. How long is it? The Rank Roulette Finals? We can watch it together if you guys like. It's just kind of a long video. I will now be a reaction YouTuber only. Welcome back to Rank Roulette, the game show where we watch your send in replays, try to guess their ranks, and fail miserably. Last I um, I'm gonna go platinum. Somebody rang the doorbell. Are you guys fucking with me? I'm gonna go check. Ah, oh, you son of a! I'm gonna go platinum two. <laughs> platinum two. Hi. Oh, yeah. mm. Platinum two. I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with my classic logic here, which I I don't want to give anything away. But that's fair. I, <laughs> I'm thinking it is. I went ma <laughs> master three. What? <laughs> How the fuck did? How the f fuck did? What? That makes no sense. That again, this guy performs very well under pressure. Yeah, it could be. An, no, it's the season. <laughs> there we go. What the fuck? What the f fuck? Bro, is this scripted? Is Rank Roulette Season 4 scripted now? That is insane. That <laughs> we went three seasons with shit not being scripted. And so there's no way. What? <laughs> the goat does it again. <laughs> I told you, DT, um, DT is right on the wall. That's the big deal. I can't, I'm not. I'm not mad. I like. I, I'm too busy being both impressed and disgusted to be mad at that. <laughs> what? There was nothing in that game. There was nothing in that game that indicated masters. On the money? Come on! Oh Man. my god. This is how people- this is how it feels to- That game. There was nothing in that game that indicated my- On the money? Come on! Oh Man. my god. ...and kill your opponent's economy? The Adept in the wall of is in- or sorry, the, the, the Dark Shrine in the wall of makes zero sense. The only reason I think why he did it, it's because he- Made the nexus in the opponent's main base, and that basically functions as a giant pylon. So he never made the second pylon. Like, the second pylon he didn't have, so he needed to plant it somewhere. No, he must have had a second pylon, because the Twilight Council was in the main. What? I think this strategy didn't take Proxy Robo into account? Yeah, of course he wanted to summon DTs. That, that was the threat, right? But, like... It was still weird, though, because there's... Give him his trophy. <laughs> I'm showing my shirt a little bit here just because it's very fitting. <laughs> this son of Good me. lord. <laughs> That's, I can't believe Arsten you guys messed with me. Okay, like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's way weird. But it's not about me here. I don't understand how to fuck that game with masters. I don't understand how to fuck, understand how to fuck that game. I don't understand how to f*** that game with Masters. How did he... How did he guess Masters? Uh, yeah, just pristine competition. Your fantastic guesses today. 
Once again, congrats to Sarah. Also, congratulations to Winter, of course, getting second place. And that is going to be it for this season of Rank Roulette. Item. All right, that guy, no one would make. How was that Masters 3? I understand how that was Masters 3, Chad. There is no logic in that. Like, you sneak a Nexus into your opponent's main base, and then you don't plan on doing anything with it until you can recall Dark Templar? I don't understand how that was Master Street Chat. There is no logic in that. Like, sneak a Nexus into your opponent's main base. And then you don't plan on doing anything with it until you can re But if you wanted to send in Dark Templar in the opponent's main, you could have just warped in a pylon. Sarah probably saw something and never mentioned it. But, like, the Dark Templar, the Dark Shrine as part of the main wall of is insane. So let's let's look at this game again, okay? Let's look at this game again. This is beyond So, he warps in a place, right? Where you make a load of zealots and then you recall them into your opponent's main. What's the function of the proxy of the entire early game? Is the dark like it's like at best a gold league strategy, man? But because the execution was pretty good, and there's no reaction. Look at the reaction. This is this is masters on Korea. Look at Protos in blue. Four adepts. No reaction. Nothing. He doesn't select them. He doesn't see because he's looking at his two immortals there on the other side of the map. Like that's all he's looking at. No reaction. Yeah, but he didn't even see. Like, he notices it after everything's died. That's insane. I know he's fully walled in, but he didn't even select any of his work. Maybe he's playing without sound? Uh, this was so bad. I can't believe Serral guessed Masters 3 there. That's the craziest part of this whole thing. Damn. The goat? I think, to celebrate, I will let you, I think, to celebrate, oh, I will let you guys listen to this while I open the door. Celebrate, oh, I will let you guys listen to this while I open the door. How is it? Is it nice? Best goat sounds in the world. Very nice. I did get my package, yeah. Dude, I had the most British delivery driver on... I, I think in the entirety of the Netherlands a couple days ago, dude. Like, I like opened the door and he was like, Would you be so kind? Oh shit, we're already- Would you be so- So kind? I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit, we're- We're already starting there. I've got a parcel for the neighbors. I've never heard anybody speak that British in my entire life. Like, it was like stereo- a typical British. How oh, he was speaking it in the Netherlands. Not speaking it in the Netherlands. I've never heard anybody use the word parcel in the Netherlands either. It's incredible. Look how this goat is way better.
This goat is way better. <laughs> That's a bit of a classic. <laughs> That's a bit of a classic. What's this? Potter? The Orlando Invitational? Classic. What's this? Potter? Classic. Let's watch Harry. Potter is a bit of a chonker, but he's athletic as hell. Don't get distracted, Potter. Ah, <laughs> let's go and go, Potter. Ah, let's go and go, Potter. Now, Potter, you missed a couple. Potter. Oh, for fuck's sake, Potter. You missed a couple. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, Potter. Fuck. Couple. For sake, Potter. Yeah, yeah, Potter. 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 Get it. Get it. Let's fucking go, Potter. Fucking go. Let's fucking go. Go, Potter. Lady is tired as hell after the. <laughs> Sick work, Potter. Very good. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna go cast some StarCraft two games. I guess the racing number of Herbie, a fictional Volkswagen Beetle with a mind. During the ESL, oh, which is amazing, guys. Hello, I had to have a little bit, of my, but not finished yet. Needs a lot of things that still need to be improved. Some of it, just additional content, which is not fun. But right now, man, there's a whole lot of report for chat. Top eight, excellent rate. 50%? What? Balance report is gonna look. Pro should have. Mental breakdowns is in Korean culture. He is supposed to be a resp. Parting, coaching, a diamond. Balance around that sort of thing, but yeah. Very nice. Parting, coaching a diamond two player, absolutely hilarious. Parting hasn't gotten the VODs to work, maybe he'll upload it to YouTube. Parting starts off by asking the dude if he's married and has kids. Guy tells Parting he's 40. So Parting puts the overlay text, coaching old man. Old man shows Parting how he does his build and Parting screams at him since it's awful. Parting has a mental breakdown, says in Korean culture, he is supposed to be respectful of his elders. But the quote-unquote old man is playing so badly he can't. Parting shows him how to play an opener and then gives him confidence and calls him my tiger. Our tiger then shows us how he does the opener he just learned. Cue Parting yelling at him. Our tiger then becomes very defensive and starts justifying everything for minutes on end for the remainder of the coaching session. Parting is smiling the whole time and becomes timid and he asks our tiger, is it okay if I coach you now? Our tiger is missing multiple benchmarks in the build. Parting yells at him again and our tiger responds he was just mineral stacking. Continues to bring up people like Nightmare and Hero and justifying his play when he's diamond too. Our tiger continues to stay in the matches long after he's clearly dead. Parting continuously saying, I think you dead now, game is over. Our tiger justifying why he is not dead. Parting smiling the whole time looking bewildered. Eventually, our tiger leaves and parting gives him words of confidence and praise. This is this is a weird this is a weird description, but very good. As a diamond two dude in my forties feels bad. This is kind of like a, a fever dream written by somebody called Waiting for Stormgate. Oh god, the Virgin Starcraft. Enthusiast versus the GSL only viewer. 
Bro, this is very true, actually. I already agree with everything with this. There's a bunch of people in the StarCraft community that only watch GSL, because in 2011, Artosis told them that the GSL was the greatest tournament of all time. And that was true at that point, but it really isn't anymore in 2024. But they still remember Artosis in 2011, whispering to them that this is the greatest tournament ever. Ah. <sighs> The Virgin SC2 Enthusiast. GSL isn't what it's the greatest tournament ever. Ah. The Virgin SC2 Enthusiast. Bro, this is very Virgin StarCraft Enthusiast versus the GSL only viewer. Bro, this is very true, actually. I already agree with everything with this. There's a bunch of people in the StarCraft community that only watch GSL. Because in 2011, Artosis told them that the GSL was the greatest tournament of all time. And that was true at that point, but it really isn't anymore in 2024. But they still remember Artosis in 2011, whispering to them that this is the greatest tournament ever. Ah. The Virgin SC2 Enthusiast. GSL isn't what it used to be. Spends old night watching Uncle... What? On Uncle Fucko's $25. On Uncle Fucko. Fuck goes twenty five dollar under five K cup grinds max packs ultra Chris build orders just to die to slow zerklings. Tastoses are good, but I prefer more analysis. Forty three twenty nine MMR says he's quote, low grandmaster. <laughs> this guy does kind of look like me, yeah. Favorite player is Jack G. Last played the game before Clem was born. Maru is the goat. OMG hot six looks so good. Who the fuck is... Who the fuck... Who the fuck... Who the fuck... Who the fuck is Serral? Foreigners couldn't take a map off of any Korean. Thinks Gumiho invented mech. There, there definitely are. Yeah, there definitely are exactly people like this. It is amazing. Also, why in all those years of the GSL code S, they have been sponsored by Hot6 for so long. Why have I never seen or bought or, or how have I never been able to buy anything GSL related? Like, it is clear at this point the financial Like, it is clear at this point that GSO has got some issues as far as their financials go, right? Because everything's been downsized a ton. But like, why are they not like... Why have they not tried making more money other than just the Patreon thing? It kind of is insane, right? Like, we have never... We have never been able to buy any GSL merchandising or like like nothing. There's so many low-hanging fruits. The advertisements that we have in that show are always Korean only. If the majority of your audience is not Korean, why are you... I don't understand, man. There's some basic... Basic... Uh, uh, is Barry Crunch on the right? Is <laughs> uh, Barry Crunch on the right? Is Barry Crunch on the right? <laughs> Last played the game before Clem was born. What year was Clem born? 2000 and what? I don't know. 2002. 2002. Mm, mm, mm. Protoss' obsession with melee. What's up, Bobo? Low facet tank three. Three years on the. I think we finished the internet, guys. The internet, we we. It's done. We did it. There's no more content to consume. It's all over. Oh wait a second. We can go to the Stormgate subreddit. There's many people I know in SC2 that while of. Hello. It's a barrier to create a new account. Yeah, he's. For Starcraft, there's like there are best battle runes art or the tradition. Is
Starcraft 2 update? <gasps> Starcraft 2 update? It's bait, chat. It's always bait. Thank you very much, Dark Rat. Four years! <laughs> Thank you. Well, now? Hype. New update. Protals has been deleted. So maybe... Good question. Protals. How many Protals buffs will they have to do before the... Oh! Game is playable. Oh! Game is playable now? Oh! Game is playable now? Hype. New update. Protals has been deleted. Like, when you think about it, right? All of these balance concerns that people have about Protoss not winning tournaments and maybe TVZB or TVP router being a little too tricky. If you just remove Protoss from the game, all of those problems are resolved. I'm just putting it out there. Could that be a fix for the bailings on the ramps? No, 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 no. No, that would have to be separately addressed. Good question. No, they haven't yet fixed that. They really should uh, update the game, man. Every day we think there is a uh, an update. But Serral now plays Protoss. How many Protoss buffs will they have to do before the top like players in the world are like, okay, bro, this Zerk and Terran thing has been fun, but like tournaments are PvP now. Like that, there's there's a moment where that will happen, right? The question is when? when? How many buffs do you need to make before that would ever happen? You don't, you don't think it would ever happen? Maybe not. There's got to be a tipping point at some moment. Like we've already seen some guys dabbling with a little bit of protos like for example Raynor has been playing it a bunch Turtle on the street has it that um Clem's protos is really good like he was ranked very high on the Grandmaster League server playing Terra or playing protos Maru apparently is a really good protos player too it'd be so funny if they end up buffing protos dude Imagine, imagine that would happen, right? They end up buffing Protoss to a point where they can comfortably win tournaments. And then suddenly everybody that plays at the highest level decides to start playing Protoss themselves. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, Clem got to like, I think he got to like 6.8k MMR playing Protoss. Now, to put that in perspective, that would make him the rank 4 on the ladder at the moment. That's pretty nuts. Like that is like four. That's pretty nuts. Thank you.